What's up, Raptors? Raptors? Welcome back to another episode of Raptor Vision. I'm Lily. And I'm Carter. And we're here with your news this week. You're gonna play? I actually am. A bunch of my friends are in it, and I'm so excited to go see it. It's showing November 2nd through the 5th this weekend, so find a time you can go, Raptors. <laughs> The different components that go into a musical. This isn't just a play. It's got music, it's got dancing, you name it, we have it. I think it's a great show. Um, a lot of my friends are doing it, which is part of the reason too. And I thought it would just be a great experience, and it has been. I just love to act. I like to get into the character's shoes, the character that I'm playing. I like to go off into the world that the writer has created. And most importantly, I just love the community um, within theater. I love the people I get to be around when I'm doing these shows. I'd say the people. It's just a really, really good group. Um, I love Val very, very much. And Miss Michael and everyone that's been working on this with us has been so wonderful. And it's just been a really good time. I, I think it's just a really wonderful experience and you grow and learn and I love it a lot. Yeah, I just I feel really grateful to have been a part of this process. That they might drop a line because it's, it comes third to those two things, yes. Um, but like I said, I really do believe in this group. I know they'll bring it together. Uh, the best thing you can do is rehearse and find those pockets of, of weakness and typically what that does is it scares an actor into uh, going home and rehearsing quite a bit over their lines. I do like uh, The Music Man. The Music Man is a great musical to show off um, to show off talent. I mean, this community is full of talented people who can, um, who can dance, who can sing, who can um, play instruments. And not only that, but then all of, our, um, all of our sets, our painting, our costumes, the lights, the sound, all done by students. So my favorite thing about um, this process and the Music Man has been bringing all of those different groups and people together and making this beautiful musical. Um, I think that's what the Music Man brings. It's not just an orchestra, it's a marching band as well. I would definitely like to thank uh, Lila Michaels for giving me a call. Uh, this is the first time I've ever worked in the, um, in the educational system. So being able to be here and, and not only be a part of BHS, but be also a part of GHS, that's really special to me. Um, I've got kids who are growing up here and it'll be fun for you know, them to see me work here and then them to go here. So I'm pretty excited, so thanks. There's a lot of DECA related news this week. Here's Logan and Mikey with a piece about Raptopoly. You're gonna lose, buddy. We'll see. Right here. We'll I'm about see. To beat you. That's a lot of money, but I'm about to beat you. I'm about to beat you. That's a five. Count them up. One, two, three, four. Dude, you can't even do that. That's so bad, bro. I only have twenty-one dollars. Good game. I only have all the cabinets. Make it rain. This is so. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Man, I suck at Monopoly. I'm never gonna be good at the freaking hey, game. Hey, you might be bad at Monopoly, but you won't be bad at Raptopoly at the Deca store. What's that? Hi, my name is Jilly, and I am one of the two that is running Raptopoly. Raptopoly is a game that we got the community involved with. So we went around and we asked local businesses for donations. Some of those donations included items or gift cards, and you guys have the opportunity to win those. So to play Raptopoly, you are going to get a little game piece um, for every $5 that you spend at DECA. And this will run November 27th through December 19th. Um, we are doing something a little different this year, and so instead of you just automatically getting that prize, you're going to be offered or entered in a raffle for that prize, and then we will announce all the raffle winners on December 18th and 19th, and so come pick them up before um, holiday break. Now let's go to Logan Hawes with a bit more about Tech. Man, I'm so hungry. I think I should buy something from Decca. Oh 
Oh no, I forgot to bring money. I better go get some. Okay, now I'm back. Thank you. Remember, Raptors, if you want to buy a snack or drink, come to DECA on the second floor. Have an awesome day, Raptors. This week, Grant, Ryan, and Shane are going to bring you sports news. Let's cut to them. Welcome back to another week's episode of Sports News. I'm Grant. I'm Shane. And I'm Ryan. This week, we're going to give you the rundown of Gallatin High Sports. Last week, our volleyball team had a huge program-wide sweep at Bozeman. Yesterday, they started their divisional tournament at Belgrade and will continue to play there all weekend. Let's show up, Raptors. This past weekend, our Special Olympics basketball team went to Billings and competed in the regional games. They went 2-0 and received the gold medal. Good job, Raptors. Our girls' soccer team had a successful season. With it coming to an end, we got you guys a little hype video to show y'all. Football team had a bye week last week for the first round of the playoffs. They finished off their regular season 8-1 and one and had their first playoff game quarterfinals against Helena High today at 3 o'clock at Van Winkle Stadium. So show up and be loud. Skip school. Get there. With only two sports in session right now, that's all we got for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Here is Logan and Mikey with some Halloween trivia. Welcome back to Mornings with Mikey. And Logan. We're here doing Halloween trivia. Let's go. True or false? True or false? True or false? The original jack-o'-lantern was carved out of a turnip. True. Correct. Good job. Yeah. The first jack-o'-lantern was carved out of a turnip. True. Correct. Good job. The first jack-o'-lantern was carved in a turnip. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with true. Dude, how do they keep getting this right? True or false? True or false? Elvis Presley died on Halloween. False. He got it right. I'm gonna say true. That's false, sorry. Oh, no. True or false? You decided to not wear a costume today. False. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to Raptor Vision this week. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.